All right, so here's the excursion that I'm going to list on Craigslist. 6.0 diesel, power stroke, four wheel drive, four new tires. Uh, it is uh, 03. I want to say it's not my truck. I'm listing this for a friend, but it's got four brand new MTs on it. It's got newer wheels off a uh, Super Duty on it. Uh, the thing is all relatively stock. It does have a straight pipe on the exhaust, so it's a little louder than factory. But Ken Woodhead unit with Garmin and everything. He just wanted a little noise on it. There's uh, you know, no turbos or anything on it, just the factory. All stock. It's never been played with. Uh, Serco roof rack. I'm not sure what size it is. Like seven foot, maybe. I don't know. But uh, interior is all in good shape. It's never really been sat in. They've been using this thing for the Steelers tailgates because they can haul a ton of people in it and only get one parking pass and just load up the back with beer and a grill and food and whatnot. Still beer in it, yeah. But this is kind of their uh, Steelers party wagon. It's got a new hitch on it. It is wired for trailer brake. Uh, he had the body touched up. I think it got new rocker panels. He either got new rockers or the rockers fixed and or new rear quarter. They got a couple new pieces on the lower half. Uh, all the front end stuff is new. Dual steering stabilizer. Ball joints, tie rod ends, drag link, sway bar links, just, you know. He kept it maintained. This guy's a retired state cop. That's his hoopty. And the reason he's selling it is because he just bought a brand new, uh, it's not a Lincoln Navigator, same thing. I don't know, it's Ford Excur Excursion? That's an excursion. Expedition. He just got a new Ford Expedition. So that's their new... And he's got that as a winter hoopty, and then he got a 2017 5.0 convertible Mustang. But, uh... Yeah. The driver's seat has a little bit of wear right here on it. That's it. But the rest of it's clean, it's been covered. All the rest of the interior is clean. Come on, bubs. Get up. It does have 300,000 miles on it, but again, it's never been touched. It's never been you know, no kid put a big turbo on it, no kid put injectors in it, no kid put, you know, whatever in it. They went to Steelers tailgates and drank beer, driven by a 60-some-year-old man. And you'll see the reason, I don't know if you can see, but the mud tires, it doesn't go four-wheeling or anything, but they live down here on the side of the bike trail. And, uh... There's literally one way in, one way out, and it's not even a two-lane road. The river's right there. It's riverfront property. But, uh... When you got to get out of here in the wintertime, let's say they don't uh, get in a hurry to plow this. And it just starts to climb up. 
look at the potholes in the road. This is not much more than a goat path. Fantastic. But I mean, this is a hundred and eighty degree turn, switchback, up and downhill. There's the river valley, the Yawk River. It's just all up. I mean, come on, little groundhog, move. I mean, literally, if you can see, the truck is as wide as this road. Not a good road. There, it widened out a little bit. But when two people, I mean, there's only four houses down there. But when two people meet on the road here, it's somebody's got to back up or get in the hillside. That's a guide wire there in the weeds, so you can't go over there. And if you did, you'd go down over a big ass hill. Oh, it's got new brakes on it. And you know, when I say new, this stuff is within a year old, but it doesn't have but a few thousand miles on it. You know, maybe if he drives this thing around, if it snows, but he usually takes the Jeep, or, you know, they take it to the Steelers games. My dad has Steelers season tickets, and, uh, you know, as I said, they run this as the party wagon. He tried buying a bus and taking a bus, but they wouldn't let a bus in the gate. But uh, yeah, it's got new, uh, stupid dinger, seat belt dinger. It's got new brakes on it. EBC, I think they are. Hold on, I'm trying to find my seat belt so that thing stops dinging. Yeah, new EBC rotors and new EBC pads. Not the cheap advanced auto parts ones. Because this thing's, it's big and it's heavy. So you want it to stop good and he paid the extra money to buy the better stuff. But he's going to buy a new roof rack and put it on his new excursion expedition new expedition so they can throw coolers on it and take it down to the tailgate parties in pittsburgh I'm trying to show you like you don't realize this road doesn't look it's not all that steep but it's just up and down but you're overlooking the valley where we just come down But I mean, this road is rough. It's nothing but pothole patch. And this thing doesn't squeak or rattle or... This is a 180 switchback.
But yeah, he likes his new toys. They just went to Hawaii and then they just went to the Outer Banks. And before they went to the Outer Banks, he went and bought that so he could drive that down. So that's his new uh, toy. He's not here now or I'd show you the convertible Mustang. It's nice. I'm not a Ford guy, but uh, I like the Mustangs and he got a, it's like a gunmetal silver or gunmetal gray 5.0 convertible. Oh yeah, backup camera. I think that's an add-on. No, I guess it's not. But it's just wired into the radio. I know it's wired into the radio. But yeah, it's a nice vehicle. Again, I'm not a Ford guy, but I drive it. But. I like little trucks. I have an S10. Uh, doggy's locked in. How do I unlock it? Come on, Bubba's. Get out. But yeah, it's a uh, you know, lighted running boards and stuff. Yeah, I don't know where the backup camera is. This, is. this must be one of the first ones that had it in 03. But yeah, I sprayed grass on the side mowing the grass. Sorry. But it's it's clean. Needs clean, but it's clean, you know. But yeah, there it is.